Parthenon, Athens, Greece. What in the world does that have to do with Islam and the cultural imperatives? The Ottoman Turks, God bless them, the Ottoman Turks were great. And don't ever believe anyone who says the contrary. And they're one of the signs of God of buttressing this deen before the Day of Judgment. And the overthrow of Sultan Abdul Hamid is fitnatul ahlas. The Prophet told us about that. Not good. Not good at all. And then Sultan Abdul Hamid was a great man. He was a great man. And he cared about us. And he cared about the Rohingya. He cared about the Palestinians. Okay, so that was a big loss. But the Ottomans ruled Greece for centuries. And while they ruled Greece, Greece was 50% Muslim. The base of the Ottoman Empire was where? Where was their demographic base? And my wife is now here. I'm happy to see her back there. She always says, why do you ask questions that nobody knows the answer to but you? But the base of the empire was, was Bulgaria. Not what is today Turkey. Bulgaria was 80% Muslim. What is today Turkey, Anatolia was 50%. And Anatolia was basically just like Greece. You had all kinds of Greek-speaking Christians there. They spoke a slightly different type of Greek than the Greeks of Athens and so But they were Greeks, ancient Greeks. And you had Armenian Christians as well. Okay? And Hungary was 30% Muslim. You know, you can go on and on. When the Ottomans come into Athens, first of all, when they conquered Constantinople, they adopt the Byzantine church. They protect the Byzantine church. They cleaned up the Byzantine church, and the Byzantines loved it. I'm sorry, you know, the Greek Orthodox Church. You know, and the Greek Orthodox Church loved them. Don't believe anything to the contrary, because that's not true. They won the love of the Orthodox Church. And the Orthodox Church stood by them faithfully until the end. And of course, now you see that's not the case with Serbia and so forth, but those are all later on. That's nationalism, later on. But when they come into Greece, they took the Parthenon. Do you think that offended the Greek Orthodox Church? No. Because the Greek Orthodox Church had an attitude towards the pagan Greek past that made them not interested in that at all. So they've got their churches. They don't want that. So the Ottomans said, we will take it. And during the whole Ottoman period, the Parthenon was completely intact. It was blown up by Greek nationalists in the War of Independence in the 19th century. So you see it now in ruins, but during the Ottoman period it was like that. If you go there, you can even see the Arabic calligraphy and so forth. Now, what do you think about that? Was that an intelligent cultural statement? Because, like, aren't you saying to the Greeks that we really admire you? That you know, Toynbee says the most beautiful building in the earth is this one, the Parthenon and the Blue Mosque. So it's like we will honor the Parthenon. We didn't break any statues, we covered them. Sometimes we plastered over them. So you wouldn't see anything offensive there. But that was our Salat al And that's the cultural imperative.